in the Next Tractor tool department. At Next Tractor, we take safety very seriously. As you can see, I'm wearing my hard hat, my safety glasses, gloves, and you probably can't tell, but these are also steel toe boots. So today we're gonna talk about the Huck 913 hydraulic power rig. Before you try to use this rig, first, you wanna make sure you have gas. It does not operate very well without it. You also want to check your oil levels and your hydraulic fluid level. While you're doing that, it's a good idea to just walk around the rig, look at it, and do a visual inspection to make sure you don't have any leaks or any damage that might have occurred to the tool. This equipment also gets quite dirty in the field, and you might want to also check it for excessive dirt that might affect its function. This tool is designed to provide pressure to huck hydraulic tools. Each of those individual tools has a specific pressure that it operates at. The pull pressure, which is your upper hose, and your return pressure, which is your lower hose. To check push and pull pressure, the unit needs to be turned on. Once the unit is turned on, there is no need to adjust throttle speed. Simply flip the switch into the on position, and then, Pull the cord. To turn it off, just put the switch in the off position. To adjust the return pressure, we have a bolt here with a lock nut. To adjust your pull pressure, we have a little T-handle here, which also has a lock nut. Obviously, you first have to loosen your lock nut before you make any adjustments. To reduce pressure, you will turn the bolt counterclockwise. To increase pressure, you're going to turn it clockwise. Each half turn equals about 150 PSI. So one of the most common problems that occurs with this piece of equipment is a loss of pressure or low pressure. If you're trying to use your tool and it's just not doing anything, you probably have low pressure. The most common culprit is either dirty attachments or an attachment that's not seated properly. If you are experiencing loss of pressure or low pressure, simply remove the attachment, check it for any debris, and then reattach it and make sure it is seated properly. Also, if you do not have enough hydraulic fluid, that will affect the amount of pressure this piece of equipment can generate. If you continue to have problems with pressure, please contact your next tracker tool representative who will give you further direction. So thanks for joining us today. Please visit nexttracker.com to watch more of our tool videos.